Hey guys, Rookie here, back once again. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, just a quick video for you guys. Figured I'd uh, take a better look at this Abus, what is it, 86 Ti, um, and put this core in it. So, kind of fumbled with it in the last video. Um, I didn't realize that uh, the, you have to um, have the lock unlocked. Which, well, I guess I was kind of struggling to do. Um, and the other thing is you have to make sure you're... What is this? It takes a 40, 40 millimeter, I believe it is. Hang on. Yeah. So it takes 40 millimeter, half euro. And you have to make sure the cam is either in, what, 25 or 45 degrees. So we got it in uh, 45 degrees there. And then all you have to do is unlock it. And they left a, a slot in there for you to do. Wow, this camera. So we unlock it. I wish this would autofocus a bit better. And uh, take our core. Make sure the cam is um, in the middle and just slide that in and then you should be able to lock it up and it should work, which it does. And I guess we can take this bad boy. Which is a little set screw. Like some Loctite on there, probably what two and a half millimeter. Yep, it's a 2.5 millimeter. And we can put this in here, and that you really feel that. Uh, Oh, I don't know that that was um, Loctite or not. It was white. Now that I think about it, I've never seen white Loctite. Anyway, put that in and uh, we can put this little cap in too. I think I'm going to leave that. Uh, yeah, I'd have to screw this in quite a bit more. And it even has Avis on it. Look at that. I kind of like it without it, but we'll leave it in. And uh, while we're at it, um, I kind of missed this in the... Well, missed it. I didn't show it in the uh, package opening, but have a... Come on. have a shackle here for the... Uh, 334B45, which if you don't know about these paddle locks, it's pretty cool. They have a, uh, let me just grab a pick here. They have a quick shackle change feature. They have this little, wow, this camera really doesn't focus. They have this little pin on the back that when you unlock the lock, poke this pin in and, um, yeah, poke the pin in and the shackle pops right out. This is not the right tool to do it with, but you get the idea. And uh, to install the new shackle, you just have to do the same in, in reverse. One thing you have to watch for is you have to make sure the key's turned as far as it goes. And there we go. I like that. Yeah, I like the, the short shackle a lot more. This this lock has great scale to it. I love the size of the body and the size of the shackle. Just a 
Beautiful lock, I find. Very nice lock. Be cool if we had stuff like this around here. <laughs> Sad to say the only locks we have at our hardware stores are master locks and 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 even crappier. Um but yeah, I think uh, I'll call it with that. Um I will update you too on um I got this yeah. I got this picked out of the the housing, but I think I'm gonna wait on making um a change key because I'm expecting some other stuff and um I'm still not sure which key I should make into a change key. If I should just use what it came with. Um, or if I should use uh, another one that I have. I'm still kind of undecided of what, uh, what to use for a change key. So I think I'll wait on that. But um, yeah, stay tuned. There's always... Uh, I have some... Quite a bit of uh, video ideas just from that last package. So, yep, appreciate you guys sticking with me and uh, hope you're all having a great day. And uh, yeah, take care. See you in the next video.